I believe the proposition being put forward that it's time for the U.S. to get tough with Israel is fundamentally a U.S. decision, a decision the United States will have to take. I am a former Israeli diplomat and I'm an Israeli citizen. And therefore, I can't make a recommendation about what you're supposed to do. But I can address the underlying assumptions that those who believe in a policy of pressure against Israel are moved by. First, most people who, pro who put forward the proposition that it's time to get tough with Israel assume that somehow, if that happens and Israel is pressured, you will reduce the flames of radical Islamic rage, affecting organizations like Al-Qaeda that attacked you on 9-11. It's assumed that somehow the strength of groups like Al-Qaeda, the intensity of their hatred, are principally affected by the Arab-Israeli conflict. Obviously, pushing us to make concessions in that conflict would reduce that. But is that really true? After all, when was Al-Qaeda formed? Was it formed in 1948, when Israel was established? No. It was formed in 1989. And what happened in 1989? Well, what happened in 1989 was that the Soviet Union was defeated in Afghanistan and withdrew. And that happened thousands of kilometers from Israel and had absolutely nothing to do with Israel. Let me go on to a second assumption of those who believe in getting tough with Israel. They also contend that muscular American pressure is necessary for us to make the first move in the peace process. But I want to remind you, when Yitzhak Rabin authorized Shimon Peres and for him Uri Savir to go to Oslo, Norway, to meet with Abu Allah to begin the Oslo track. It was done as a free will act of Israel without any pressure from outside or from the United States. I believe that those who advocate that pressure be put on Israel to make it withdraw, to make it make concessions that it might not make otherwise, are actually taking a position that's fundamentally unfair. They've forgotten that Israel has taken enormous risks for peace since 1993. Finally, this is a myopic observation to say that all efforts must be made to put pressure on Israel because we and our Arab neighbors have a different perception of the central problem of the Middle East. It is a nuclear Iran. It isn't Israel.